let's talk about Apple, if we could. Um, yes, please, my baby. So Apple VR headset will reportedly run hundreds of thousands of iPad apps. So this is um, Apple, widely, anticip widely anticipated virtual reality headset, mm -hmm. reportedly dubbed the Reality Pro. That's a good name, Reality mm -hmm. Pro. Like, yeah, will also be compatible with Apple's own iPad apps and the hundreds of thousands of third-party iPad apps, according to Bloomberg. The headset will reportedly be powered by an external battery pack similar in appearance to Apple's iPhone battery pack. The new headset is expected to launch at Apple's June WWDC event and will reportedly cost around 3000 Every week with something new that we talk about with Apple. Last week, it was the Apple uh, savings account. Mm -hmm. yep. Now it's the um, the VR headset. And, you know, anybody, I'm a big proponent of virtual reality. I think virtual reality is going to be changed sports for sure. Yep. Uh, I can't wait for that to be able to sit ringside. We just came from a boxing fight. Be able to sit ringside. You won't get the same experiences as far as the networking, but as far as being able to enjoy LeBron, firsthand mm -hmm. like you were sitting in jack nicholas's seat that's an amazing experience so okay virtual reality apple breaking news um what's the deal how do we feel about this amazing and meta you got to go back to the drawing board because <laughs> now with the inclusion of the apps the app ecosystem of course apple is a luxury brand so going back to the top we talked about the top of show Price point is going to be around 3000 bucks. Eventually, over time, they'll get the price point down. But it's better to start high and work their way low as a luxury brand than to start low and try and work your way high. Nobody's going to pay $90,000 for a Camry because in our minds, it's perceived to be a low value, um, lower value tiered car, right? So now, anyone who wanted to create this headset AR VR space, um, they're in trouble now. That's why I keep saying, like, always, please write this lesson down. Create the dream team for who will put you out of business and try to do that thing inside of your business. I know you guys saw the article and people started messaging me like, hey, chat GPT can uh, predict the stock market. I'm like, I hope it does because it will bring the value of what I do up tremendously. But I'm also in real time trying to figure out how can I use AI and implement it in my brain so I can put the prices out faster and let people have them, right? Um, I don't know what Meta's going to do because they have not had much interest and desire for their headset, even though the Quest Pro was pretty amazing. But when you have thousands of apps in an Apple ecosystem, which is so key, this is going to be a huge win for them over the next five or six years. What do you guys think? Uh, I mean, another one? I think that's the th first thing I think of another one because mm -hmm. most people were thinking wearables. We were thinking about the glasses. And here we are with the announcement of the virtual reality SP, uh Reality Pro. Uh, I mean, the app thing is incredible. I think from a healthcare standpoint, it's even more incredible when mm -hmm. you think about now because the way they're perceiving it is it's almost a fitness device, right? They didn't have a fitness device. We were thinking about maybe they'll acquire uh, a company like Peloton, but that didn't make sense. So how can they get into the, the wearables from a fitness standpoint? Well, yeah. you create virtual reality, and now that virtual reality can be hooked up to your other health devices like the Apple Watch, and now you can track fitness, you can track heart rate, you can track all these things, plus you can have them actually doing exercises in real time. Uh, I mean, it's it's brilliant. <laughs> we're talking about another vertical uh that you know they're just going to be in the leading again so first thing is like that and the second thing is like yeah the the meta quest 2 uh, good luck good yep. luck i mean, I, I don't i the the brand loyalty that comes in is associated with apple is second to none um their history of products is second to none yeah, I mean it's tough. It's tough for anybody in the space when when Apple says that they're they're about to come into it. You, I guess the 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 next thing is to figure out who do you combine with, who do you merge with, who you can collaborate with to compete in this space now. And sometimes people only want a product or projects from a certain brand. Um, and this is one of those things where like they have such a big. I mean, going back to the multi-billion user 
example with mm -hmm. when they when they partner with Goldman. It's like, okay, great. And then of course, Robinhood came out with an APY product for 4.4%, I think, after that. But it's like when you have all those customers inside of the ecosystem already, it's really hard to compete against that. Um, so I think it's one of those cases where it took too long for, and it's a great business lesson. You have to get the product right the first time. Even going back to InvestFest, first one, like everyone was like, yo, I'm going out. I remember my guy, Jerry, hit me up like, where are you at? I'm like, I'm in the hotel working on the presentation. <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, why? I'm like, if I don't kill this time on stage, I'll never be back on. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, this is a, a key test for everyone. Like, if you don't over deliver on information plus actual theatrics of the show, and creating the memory because of course i was maybe one of the lesser known people but i'm like no they're gonna know this weekend mm -hmm. so and everybody in red panda went crazy then how do i do it again for year two meta when they initially launched that headset it wasn't amazing which gave room for a bunch of competition and now you have the biggest player in the game who puts out a better version what are you going to do yeah we, we've seen it happen a bunch of times and sometimes being first this is these are the penalties Right. Because he, people get to watch the space and they say, how can we approve on it? Right. Yeah. So like when you said, people will just trust the brand. Like some people will get a Fitbit, but then there's other customers to say, I'll just wait till Apple puts out a new watch. And here comes the Apple right? watch. Some yep. people will say, hey, I'm going to get a tablet. Well, Microsoft has one. Well, I'll just wait till they create an iPad. Yep. Right. Well, so I, I might get a virtual reality headset. Well, or I could just wait until Apple makes one. Right. So the people who at Meta, they were out with it. OK, this is what you have. This, this is your king, <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, and here we go. All right, how do yeah. we make a new improve? How we incorporate it? How do we add different verticals inside of it? And that's, they're masterful at it. They're masterful at it. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. Apple probably is the greatest publicly traded company in the history of mankind. Like I've never seen a company go on this run where product after product is amazing. This kind of fan, like zombie-like loyalty amongst the fan base. And they are a luxury brand that most people don't see it as that. But like every phone's a thousand bucks. This product is three grand. They also have the subscription part in healthcare is in play. Banking is in play. Like they almost are like a, a conglomerate that the people made. Well played. I think we take probably out. Yeah. Uh, Apple. Yeah. Apple. Yeah. They are. Yeah. I think it's like 8% of the S&P right now. I don't think that's ever been done in the history of like indexing. Yeah. I'll have to look tech at the index. Yeah, yeah. Tech to index is the vibe. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>